So this is my wonderful desk and I'm about to start a wonderful desk tour to give you a tour of my new desk. I have worked on organizing for a while. So let's get started. Let's start with the top part. So these are MCAT study books. This is the bookshelf, which is helping the books stay up a lot. So yay. This is an award I got a couple of months back. It actually lights up. And these are my books that I have. These are books I actually bought and I like and I've been trying to read one of these. This one I've already finished. This one I'm currently uh, reading. This one too. And the rest of them. Oh, and this one too. Um, re I've read a good chunk of it. I'm going to read more of it. So these are my wonderful books. Most of them I got them from Barnes & Noble. This one from Target. This one from Amazon. Um, but most of them from Barnes & Noble. That's my favorite place to go to. Over here, there is a little doggy. It's a, like a bookmark that I use for my books. It's really nice. It's really cute. And then over here is like other books. So these are different books. So like this is a planner. I really like the last one I got last year. So I decided to get a new one for this year. This is how it looks like. There. This is a Muji binder notebook. Back here, I have my journal. Muji book B6. I really like it. It has a good amount of paper. I'm already like a third way through it um, already. And yeah, I really like it. It's very small and convenient for a reference. That's the size of my hand and that's the size of my book. I can, it's not too big, not too small. Over here, I have my YouTube journal where I write my YouTube ideas. So here I write all my ideas for YouTube, my, like, the milestones I reach. So here I put the day I started on. I made a little mistake, so I just put tape on it in this paper. Kind of smudged a little bit over here. It doesn't matter. So this is the day I started my YouTube channel a little bit over a year ago. Over here is my bullet journal. I really like this one. So I can show you a little bit close up of my stickers. This sticker I got while I was working um, during a summer program. I really like this sticker. It says graduated cylinder with a little cap because this is a graduated cylinder, but it has its, its little cap. So I thought it was funny. I'm a little bit corny like that. This is a sticker that one of my friends gave me. She gave me a whole pack, but I put one in the front. This is when I got vaccinated, and this sticker actually got a really long time ago with my heart um, necklace that you'll see later on, and came with a couple of stickers, and this was one of them. Embrace the journey, because we always get set on the next goal and not actually embrace the journey, so I really, really, really like this. I just got this yesterday, which it says, a lot to, to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm corny like that. And this is like a to-do list. I do have my planner as a to-do list, but the weekends, it doesn't have a to-do list section. Instead, it has just a schedule right next to each other for both days and only three things to do. So this will surely go in handy when it comes to weekends. And it's really cute. I told you about this necklace. So this necklace is my first ever necklace that I bought with my own money. I really like it. And on the back, it says saving lives together. And in the front, it has an EKG. I really like it. That was my first ever necklace that I bought. Then I have this board, which I bought at Target. I like it because it's cork and it's also a whiteboard. And for now, I'm just using it to write like the day because I'm at home most of the days. I need something to remind me what day it is. So it's Tuesday, August 31st, the day I'm filming this. I also have like an eraser, it's a really like nice, soft, fluffy one. It's also magnetic, so it came also with the nav magnet. This I bought it separately. It didn't come with the board, but this and this came with the board. Here I have some adorable calendars. This is just for me to see like an overview of the months. It's small, it's convenient, it fits perfectly on this. I actually cut these out before I even got the board, so it just was meant to be. 
and these like little succulent pins i got them from target as well separately they were a little bit pricier and but they're really adorable and i really like like plants and stuff like that so i think this was a little nice touch so i had to get it and then the plants that you see on the side i actually got these a while ago i just had them on the other side of my room but i moved them here i guess it adds like a little bit of color so it looks really nice then you see my laptop stand, which is also a new addition. Then my laptop, which is a like 2017 version of the MacBook Air. So this is like an older MacBook Air. It's charging right now. Markers. These markers, I got them from Target. But I'm going to be using my whiteboard a lot, so might as well get markers for them. And they were on sale. And then the wonderful acrylic organizer actually changed up what markers were here and I tried to organize them by color a little bit. So as you can see here, I have my Muji pens. These are all my Muji pens. As you can tell, I love Muji pens. I have refills too for them stored away. And I also got my hands on mild liners recently. So I got them a couple of weeks ago actually. And I really, really liked them like two weeks ago but I really, really like them. They're really nice. I've used a couple of them and they are on the pricier end. I did get them slightly on sale, but it was still on the like pricier end, but they're really nice. I really like that it has double tip and that it's kind of pastel color. So I don't really like the bright neon color. So these are just like, just right. And we have Crayola Super Tips, which I really, really, really like. Um, they're amazing. I really like how it has lots of colors. I got the 50 pack and I tried to color coordinate it a bit. I tried my best. And then here, it's another compartment. I have some washi tape for Muji. This post-it pack, which I got a really long time ago. More of the calendars for the rest of the months. More post-it notes that I got a while ago. Um, they're $1 at Target. I think they're still $1 at Target. Like one little pack is $1. But they usually sell them individually. I just got this one like two or three weeks ago from Target because I wanted like a bright color, so I got another yellow. This sketching pad, which is an older one, but I really do want to sketch more often, so might as well put it here. A pen, a lead pencil, index card. These are the bigger size ones that I got a while ago. I forgot from where, and then white out. And then this pouch came actually with my necklace, but I use it to store like coins. So yeah, this hand sanitizer I really, really, really like. It smells amazing. This is my second bottle. Got my first bottle as a gift. And this was my second bottle. This one I actually ended up buying because it was good. I'm like, I might as well spend the money on it. And the lamp that I really like that I've had for a while, as you've seen before. And you can just like turn it on easily change the modes right now it's not very visible because it is really light but you can change it to like different modes where more warm tone cool tone so i really like this lamp it doesn't take too much space and it's very convenient you can adjust the brightness the level of the brightness too so that makes it even better and my mouse pad that you saw me getting in one of my previous vlogs i also got a coaster as well a pack of them so that's the top section. So that's everything on the top. I tried to keep it minimal. This is where all the storage happens. So in that bin, I actually have my switch, my headphones, my hard drive, and that's basically it in there. And then here I actually have my quick fact sheet and my coloring anatomy book in there. And then that is the like air pressurizer for my laptop so I can clean it out. Here's two more, the two other bins. I decided to put cables in one of them and the other one has extra supplies that I don't want, like I need, but I don't want them all over the place. Here is my headphones, more specifically my Beats, my mouse, that if I don't use it, I just store it away just to, save some space and my box of coloring pencils. So that's basically everything. 
I will try to link everything I can down below. Stuff I'm trying to keep this space like fairly empty. All of these stuff I'm gonna need on a daily basis. Thank you for watching my video. I have a small announcement to make. I'm not going to be posting videos weekly anymore. Instead, I'm going to be posting videos bi-weekly, which means every other week. So the next video won't come out, not next week, but the week after that one. I just wanted to let you know. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you can get notified every time I post a video. See you next time. Mm -hmm.